welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna go for a makeup for the youngest one, for children makeup. And I'm doing a mommy, but I wanted to do a special mommy. I'm going to do Morai from the Tale Transylvania 2. It's a very fun, very entertaining um, movie that is just about to be released. So I wanted to do this kind of fun makeup to also be able to recreate any kind of aid for Halloween. So let's get started. So get your head back, take a shirt that doesn't have any slips and start with the makeup. We're gonna be applying a stick glue, a couple of coats all over the brows to set them and then I'm gonna set it with a loose powder. You already know the drill here, just take a black pencil and start creating your gut lines. Just the border between the colors, so I'm gonna be creating the eye area and the mouth area and then I'm gonna sketch a few of the um, bandage bit. I will add a little bit of the color on top, so all the color on top, so they won't show up. But I have the idea of where the makeup is gonna be. So I'm gonna be using aqua colors and then I'm gonna be mixing white, a bit of brown, a bit of um, green, and then I'm gonna be applying all over the face and also the neck. I'm gonna start giving a little bit of texture. I'm gonna rip off a little bit the borders of the sponge and then add a little more white in some of the areas to create this texture. Mostly it's gonna be in some of the borders and also on the outer part of the body. With the rest of the body is drying, I'm gonna start with the teeth. I'm gonna mix a little bit of white and a little bit of uh, yellow cream col um, aqua colors and start applying with an eyeliner pencil. I'm gonna create two sets, upper and lower. They're gonna be a little bit of white spread and they're going to be getting it smaller on the way on to the sides. And then once that's done, I'm gonna take a design pencil and a black aqua color and start lining between the teeth. And then all over the mouth, we're gonna be creating a very black whole mouth and then just the teeth. Point, you can change, change to a bigger brush so we do the job easier and faster. I'm gonna be doing the same on the um, eye area up on my forehead. This it will work really well for the child because they have smaller space between the teeth area and also the eye area I create but for grown-ups I'm gonna bring it a little bit farther down. I'll show you in a bit. So um, now I'm just adding a little bit of shading on my teeth with brown and then I'm highlighting with white. Back to the body that now is dry, I'm gonna be adding a greenish brownish to create the border of all the bandage. Um, just add that and then I'm gonna be blended a little bit just to create a little smooth area. Uh, as you can see, I kind of I wanted to make this appear my ears and also my forehead. So I add a little bit of black uh, aqua color all over it and then back again once to the um, bandage. I'm gonna be blending the lines. <music> to create the effect of the bandage, I did something really easy. I took a very wide and um, bristles brush and then dip it in brown and just strike backwards and downwards just to create this kind of effect. Then I went back with white to create a little more contrast and add it in some of the areas. And then to create a little more like an old type of bandage, I went back to the same brownish grainish I used at the beginning and create some kind of spikes that goes up from the bandage. And some of them I'm gonna be adding some black also to give some depth, but this works really great to give that kind of old age bandage. Now 
Nicely and move all the eye area a little bit farther down and add a little bit of green and a dirt area to create the eyes and in the central I'm gonna be adding a yellow to create this very vibrant type of eyes that Moon Ray has and then add black around it. Last touch, just gonna give a little more highlight in some of the areas by using a beige cream color. I'm gonna be adding on the upper part of the forehead to create volume and also around the mouth and some of the areas of the bandage. And we're done. This is Murek from Hotel Transit Benny 2. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You see, it's very easy to adjust to any kind of age. Even the youngest can wear it. It's very easy, it's very fun at the same time, and it's so Halloween-y. So as always, thanks so much for spending some time with me. I'll find all, or you'll find all the list of products that I use for this tutorial below, in the bar below. Thanks so much for spending some time with me. Be happy and see you next one. Ciao.